Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk about the first $100,000. As soon as you reach $100,000 in your account, everything in your financial life will change. I guarantee you. And it will change fast. Image to as a, maybe a planting a money tree. The sooner you plant the seed, your first 100000 the early it starts to sprout at growing. The seed money is your foundation. And the sooner it is in the ground, your account, the more time has to flourish and give you fruit. And with the fruit that is more money, you can buy more money tree and uh, repeat it, uh, rinse and repeat over and over. Why the urgency for the $100,000, you may ask? Because time is the best ally in the world of investing. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow with the compound interest. Now, remember this word, compound interest. I'll get back during this video. But grow up in Italy is like grow up in a karate dojo in, a, in Asia. First of all, at an uh, early age, Italian mom, Italian sister, or your little brother tell you exactly what is wrong with your face, what is wrong with you, and most of all, how intelligent or not you are. And believe me, they tell you that over and over until you understand uh, how much intelligent or whatever it is wrong with you or your face. And that is just a home. After that, there is that side word. Well, your friends, and you know, I use this uh, word, the friends, very loosely. They call me Dom de Lazert, uh, like a reptile. Not because I'm skinny or anything, uh, or because I have uh, any reptile uh, quality. They simply call me Dom de Lazert because I can keep my bike on one wheel for a long time. Due to this uh, capability, I was associated with a lizard, known for his long tail and balance. You know, the tail of the, the, the lizard can balance you. So they would call me Dom de Lazert. Now, I know, right? I, I'm, I'm telling you, the kind of uh, 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 uplifting that this can give you, uh, or the, the kind of damage it maybe can do to our kids, it's, um, you know, it, it go both way. Because you start to look at your life and, you know, you start to, um, nobody baby you, like, everybody is kind of like, you know, uh, tell you as it is, you grow faster. And what it does to you? You start to go faster from the la-la land to understand why your dad worked two jobs, why your mom is not home, why a friend of yours go to the basketball or baseball game and your dad can't because he need to work two jobs. But um, that is all about the financial um, you know, education. This is why I'm doing this job, why I'm doing this channel. Uh, I'm doing this channel because I grew up in a family and I guess most of you guys can relate it with me, where my father was working two jobs uh, just to give us a roof and, uh, you know, just to provide for the family. Um, and I, I kind of um, promised to myself to not do the same error. I start to invest a little bit in my early age, but definitely I start to educate myself. And I guess this is one thing that I want to tell to you guys, especially to a young investor. And when I say young investor, it's not just uh, 20 years old. You can be a young investor also when you are 50. Uh, to all young investors, I would love to, first of all, read much more book that you can. Uh, the first book that you read is Poor Dead, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Rich Dad, whatever. Um, and one teaching of that book is that the poor mentality, like why rich people, um, why you like uh, uh, poor people actually say, hey, I cannot afford that. When uh, a rich uh, mentality, you say, how can I afford that? How can I invest money enough to afford that house, that vacation, that real estate property? It's much more like a, a, a mindset of uh, create a system in place that allow you to escape the rat race. Let's talk about the rat race, guys. Rat race um, it's a little bit offensive, of course, but it, it, the word, I think it, it meant to be a little bit uh, shocking. The rat race. Well, the rat race is like what we do, all of us, and I'm guilty too. We try to live as rich people do. I remember that I heard this, like rich people leave, uh, spend like poor people, and poor people spend and live as rich people. And what all this uh, rather here means. 
means that sometimes when you are so stressful for job, like, you know, uh, when I go to Costco and uh, I see a 87 inch TV, I have the things that I want to buy that 87 inch TV. Can I, not, can I afford it? Can I buy? Of course I can buy, but can I afford it? Maybe no. Maybe the 27 inch or maybe the 60 inch will do the same. Uh, is that a, a sin or is that crime to want the 86 inch? No, guys, definitely not. But if you analyze a little bit uh, poor people and rich people, rich people make their money like when they buy asset. And when I say asset, it's like stocks, it's like uh, um, real estate, it's all things that put money in your pocket. Anything that put money in your pocket is called asset. And asset generate money monthly. In my case, my asset is TSLY, Tesla. It gives me 50% return every year. And every month, you make me almost $2,000. Now, can I afford to pay that uh, TV with that $2,000? Of course I can, because now I have an asset. I don't need to work and, uh, you know, uh, fell in the trap of the rat race to buy that TV. I have my asset buy that TV. What they did, I bought the asset first. The asset generate money, and the money the asset generate, I buy the TV. I buy the house, I buy the vacation, I bought the little uh, trip, the little journey to go on vacation with my son. Um, you know, this is the thing that I'm trying to tell you guys. Buy a asset and no liability. Now, liability, what it can be, guys? Eh, well, you know, the Louis Vuitton bag, you know, uh, to show off a little bit when, oh, the wallet. Um, I cannot believe I actually I have one too. I have a, a, a Louis Vuitton wallet. The wallet is $700. I don't even think that I have $700 in my wallet. But again, that is the rat race. Uh, fortunately, I have the money monthly that come to pay me for the $700 wallet. I have almost like $12,000 a month that whatever I do, because I bought the asset, like I was saying, I can buy a wallet of $700. I feel guilty a little bit, but not that much, because next month I will have another $12,000 to invest or do whatever I want. So let's go back on this $100,000 a year. Why is it so hard for all of us to achieve that $100,000 a year? First of all, it's hard because the first $100,000, guys, in your brokerage account, it's just basically maybe you're young, maybe you don't have a, a, a good job yet, you just start, uh, you need to move, pay your rent, all this stuff, and you cannot make too much um, contribution. So first of all, the contribution monthly that you can do when you are a young investor, maybe it's modest, it's like a little bit. So it will take you maybe four, five, six, maybe put eight years before that you achieve the hundred thousand dollar. But I'm telling you, the early you start, the early you will achieve hundred thousand dollar. Now, what will happen on a hundred thousand dollar? Let's jump on this graphic, guys. Let's start on the first uh, graphic of the hundred thousand dollars. So on the first graphic, guys, as you can see, the first one hundred thousand dollar. If assuming that you put away, uh, let's say around like a hundred dollars or eight hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars a month. Uh, so this would give you almost like roughly, uh, you know, if you put like $800, $833 a month, you will get the $10,000 per year. So let's see that you can save every year $10,000, a 7% interest that is usually the flotation of the market, you know, is going, uh, and this is conservative because generally uh, during the history of the stock market, the stock market go around, go up around like 10%. But let's say that the 7% will tax everything, right? This will give you guys um, in the, uh, almost uh, eight years, let's say seven years enough, the first $100,000. So thinking about it, guys, much, if you start early, uh, you will take you eight years, seven years to put this $100,000 in your bank. You basically achieve the first mile, milestone. This is the, the first landmark. After seven years enough, $10,000 a year, you will put $100,000. Let's jump, let's jump on the $200,000 now, guys. Thinking about now, this is where you will start to see the snowball effect of the of a compound interest. Thinking about it, it took you 7.5 years to come to the first $100,000. And now, if you see at this graphic, the second $100,000 is almost 35% fast. You will put the same $10,000 a year. You will have the same 7% interest. But now, as you see in this graphic, guys, it will take you five and five five years at 10 months this is the second two hundred thousand dollar guys so let's say in 13 years let's say that you start guys let's say that you start um you know at 20 years old after 
uh, you know, oh, let's say, you know, 20, I think it is a, is a good, a good example. 20 years at 33 years old, you will have already the $200,000 in your bank. Now, guys, the second $200,000, it's even much more important because now your interest is skyrocketing. Let's go on the third graphic now, guys. How long will it take you to get the first $500,000 in your um, brokerage account? Well, guys, it will take you almost 20 years. But as you can see in the graphic, the last, the last, you know, hundred thousand dollar from the four hundred to the five thousand to five hundred, it take you just two years enough. Look how much that time it's just like shrinking. How much fast you can get that money in your bank or in your brokerage account, hey guys. This is kind of like a old kind of school. This is not what my channel is all about. Why? Because that little seven that you see over there. I'm not preaching here seven percent interest, guys. We are uh, uh, flying right now around the fifty percent interest. Uh, and uh, assuming that you put uh, ten thousand dollar guys down uh, instead of seven percent, you get fifty percent. It's way faster twenty thousand dollar. But guys, I want to show you the last graphic before that uh, I I swipe or I switch to the to the ETF that we are trying to that we are buy. Guys, this is like your way to the one million dollar. Now, as you can see, it will take you 30 years. Yes, it's a lot of time. But look at that last part, guys, from the $900,000 to the $1 million. It takes you just to 1.3, one, one year at three months. Now, let's switch on my on the way that uh, uh, here we do uh, business, guys. Uh, here, my channel is for high yield dividend. And let me show you the graphic. Now, this is like a small app that I are uploading, but let's say that you have the same $10,000. And now let's change instead of a 7%, 50% or 60% in this case, just to play. So with the 60% um, yield, it, it will make you $100,000 in three years at three months. So you see the difference from what was like seven years to three years, half of the time. And uh, plus uh, you will get, it's not just there faster, but you will get, uh, you will start the snowball effect um, earlier. So this means that you will make much more money uh, faster, much more money early. So, but let's check uh, the next slide show, $200,000. Guys, thinking about you will make $200,000, 60% yield, uh, if this will uh, be uh, what will happen in uh, in the future, if we keep that kind of yield, you can make in TSLY in four years and four months, you will make 2000, uh, I'm sorry, 200. So in four years and four months, you will make $200,000. These are earth, guys. This is like amazingly, amazingly. Uh, I don't even know. I don't have a word for describe this. So you want, you have love. You can buy a house in four years, basically two hundred thousand dollar in many part of the country. You can buy a small house for that amount of money. Or now let's go back on five hundred thousand dollar, half a million dollar, guys. You will receive the half a million dollar mark in five years, eighty seven and eight months. Five years, eight months for half a million dollar. You will contribute eight thousand uh, dollars every uh, month. With the zero down, and after five years, guys, you will get five hundred thousand dollar. Again, the only thing that need to be um, that need to be the same would be this yield, the sixty percent. As today, the lower that the Tesla went was like forty four, I think, like 40, I think like forty seven, if I'm not mistake. So let's say that is forty seven or fifty. Uh, just change the the the, um, the number. Just change the number in this app. And you will see uh, how long it will take you to become like to get to get half a million dollar. Now, I don't know if you remember, guys, but before with the, the 7%, it would take you almost 20 years to do that. So in a third of the time, a 60% yield that uh, yield max offer with the Tesla, in less than six years, you will have half million dollar. This is incredible. Let's see the next graphic. Um, and the next graphic would be for a, a million dollar. Guys, you will you will reach the million dollar status in seven years if uh, you will continue to put eight hundred dollars a month, and uh, the yield dividend is sixty percent. Now, let's say that you are twenty years old, guys. At twenty seven, you will become a millionaire. And this is nostalgia, guys. This is an exponential growth. So it means that much more time you will uh, you will keep, and um, and much more money you will make. Guys, this is a wrap for today. Thank you so much for following me and uh, to be so kind. Uh, with uh, with your support and if you can please subscribe so we can share this video this knowledge to uh, more people um, if you haven't done yet please leave me a comment subscribe 
click on the bell button so you will get notification every time that I publish a new video. Uh, thank you so much, guys, and uh, I'm out.